This is higher homework, five, and we're looking at question five. So given that y equals this here, find dy by dx. So a differentiation question, three marks for this one here. Right, whenever I'm faced with um, this type of question, what we're going to do is we're going to split the, uh, the fractions out. I don't want to see this uh, x squared just appearing up at the top here. Uh, I sometimes see that, that's not the way to go there, and that's, that's one that's going to take away almost all the marks that you can gain from this. So let's go ahead and uh, try and get this uh, sorted out. So split the fraction, um, x squared becomes a denominator under these three things that are here. So I'm preparing it first of all, so that's 2x cubed all over x squared, minus 3x squared all over x squared, plus 5 all over x squared. So that's it prepared, first of all, just by splitting the fraction. From there what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into a form where I can differentiate, and what that means is no x values on the bottom, so I'm going to take everything up to the numerator. So I'm just going to use some indices work that I'll have learned from uh, National 5 or Intermediate 2, and I'll just uh, do that just now. So still a bit of further preparation, so that's going to be 2x Remember that uh, with indices work, if I'm dividing, it'll be 3 minus a 2, which gives me 1. And these two will cancel out, so it'll just give me minus 3 and plus 5x to the minus 2. Okay, so that's us set up and ready to differentiate there. Now I'll go ahead and do dy by dx. So dy by dx is going to be equal to, so just remember that's a 1 that's there, so 1 times 2 gives me 2 x to the power of 0 is going to be 1, so that's just 2 that comes out of there. And the minus 3, that's going to disappear to, to nothing, and what I've got is minus 10x to the minus 3. Okay, and that would be my final answer. Now, if I had to write that with a positive index, which sometimes we have to do that, what we'd do is I would, just the opposite of what we did there, I'm going to take the x to the minus 3 to the bottom to the denominator, and what will happen, that will be x to the power of a positive, a positive 3. And that will be my, my final answer there. Right, for, for marks for this question here, we've got three marks, so let's go for it. We'll go for one mark for making sure that you prepare it by splitting the fraction, one mark for preparing for differentiation, and I'll give the final mark there. So that will be out of three marks.